Hello and welcome back to Non-League to Glory and this is Football Manager Maniac and again this is our Non-League to Glory save where we're looking to take Dulwich Hamlet from Non-League to the Premier League. Let's go straight into it guys as you can see here the team has proven me wrong and at the present moment we are in a playoff position. Um, we're only about six points away from automatic promotion so that's very scary as I didn't expect us to be there at that present time. We have got some um, difficult games coming up, but again, we just take each game as it come. And um, yeah, anything can happen. We are only about six points um, away from dropping out of the um, promotion playoffs, um, but we will try our best to get in there. Like I said, um, we'll take each game as it come. And as you can see here from our player stats, um, Macaulay Bone is our top goal scorer again, as I thought he would be. He scores goals, so... What's the point? If he can score goals, why not bring him in? And that's exactly what he's done. He's come in and he's scored goals. So um, that's always a good thing. We will go into the schedule, give you aware the, from the last game we played, which was the Peterborough game. And as you can see, we've been unbeaten quite a lot of games. Um, we got an unbeaten run at the present moment and we're in the Checker Trade tri um, final. Um, trophy, um, in the final of the Checker Trade trophy. Um, we're playing Man City's on the 23s. That's going to be extremely hard, but again, we just take each game as it comes. For us to then get to a final, um, that's brilliant. Hopefully, we'll be able to win it, but we'll just take each game as it comes, and that's all we can do. Again, um, we've stuck to our normal formation, which is the 4-4-2 wide play, and that seems to um, have got the players familiar with it, and also um, they've been doing good with it, so I can't complain with that. Um what else can we do? We're going to the squad. Let's give you guys an update of where we was before. Give you an insight of the players that's been contributing to where we are at the present moment. Um, and that's it there. Um, as you can see, obviously, um, Bone with uh, 20 goals. And Reese Miller has actually come in as well from loan and scored 16 goals and four assists, which is brilliant. Um, can't complain. They ever have the average rating is not the best, but they are doing what they need to do, which is four goals. So I'm not going to complain with that. Um, again, it's been mixed up around the squad with goals and assist, um, with Whitfield being our top assister. So we've just finished playing the Bristol Rovers game where we won 2 1. And our next game will be against Manchester City's under 23. Let's see how it goes. Be interesting to see because with these um, Premier League um, under twenty three teams, they do play. Um, they do actually play people that are over twenty threes. Because um, when I did play West Ham, I believe they had um, Daniel Suarez. Sorry, they had um, Daniel Sturridge. Sorry, Dan Daniel Suarez. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, that's exactly what is being. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> everyone's contributing, and that's exactly what we want. Um, just to be contributing. We do sometimes change the team up a bit, but we'll see how it goes again. Um, it's going to be a very difficult game, but um, you can only take each game as it comes, and um, that's all we can do, to be honest with you. And <clears throat> What do we do? Do we play one up front? Do we go two up front? Um, we do have to be careful. Um, Man City are going to have a lot of um, quality. Uh, so... We do have to be very careful, but I think we'll just go for it, to be honest with you. Uh, why not go for it? We'll just stick to what we know best, which is our four four two, And that's it. So we've got somebody here who wants to get one of our players. It's not really going to make much of a difference. I'll just reject it. Um, whatever happens, happens. <clears throat> Just need to see. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to win the game. Um, but we just take each game as it comes. It's a very, very good um, opportunity for us to get silverware this season. And hopefully, we'll be able to do the job. I'm hoping we'll be able to do the job. But, you know, Manchester City are a strong team. They showed throughout this competition um, that um, they can be very consistent and win games. But... We have to be very careful, very, very careful. But hopefully we'll be able to come out on top in this game. We are missing a few players, so <clears throat> be interested to see what we do. But 
hopefully the players come up and step up. This is their chance to show that they are they're up for the game, show that they can be heroes. <clears throat> but we're there, <clears throat> we're getting better. Um, slight players are, are quite interested in, in joining our club. Um, now it's just the fact of then getting that money, getting that revenue as well. And hopefully, if we can get promoted into the championship, we can actually start <clears throat> getting some good money. But again, I'm going to try and learn my lesson and not overhaul the squad. I think we've, I've done that a lot um, with overhauling the squad. So as you can see here, um, oh, 40 games. So we've gone down to just fifth by two points. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, this season is going to be very interesting. The top six teams or five teams is really good, um, but um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes and who wins it. But right now, we are focused on the Checker Trade Trophy Final and the league has to be put aside for now. Right. Judgment Day has come. Today is the day we play the Checker Trade trophy final against Man City and hopefully we'll be able to do the job today the fans have come over and they're hoping that they can see their team lift the trophy and we've never won this trophy before so it would be nice to win it okay and today's today we are at Wembley and it's Man City under 23s versus Dalish Hamlet in the Checker Trade Trophy final and we have Ugbo in goal we have Volkins, Feeney, Rowlinson and Lund as our back four um, as you know Davis is injured Lewin is also um, is not match fit then we've got Lomanza, Hajini, Gilmore sorry Gibson sorry and Whitfield as our midfield and up front we have Miller and Bone which is our two top strikers at the present moment and we're hoping that hopefully we'll be able to do the job let's just have a look and see oh they've got Phil Foden playing as well oh, we've got to be really careful here um, it's going to be a very difficult game very difficult game uh, wow um, hopefully we win we just hopefully just see how it goes um, and I'm hoping that we'd be able to do the job. Um, but here, I just want to press the midfield. Don't give them time on the ball. And it looks to me that um, they're playing, um, going to be with high fullbacks. So we definitely need to press the keeper, as that's what we do. And, um, sorry, and also the fullbacks as well. We want to press them. Sorry, that's the wrong one. There you go. Come on, Dalish Hamlet. Ooh, come on, let's make a statement in the in the in the world, boys. Come on, you can be heroes. Let's go. Um, before we do anything, just to make sure that everything is sorted the way I want it. No playing points in into space. We want to counter press. Get that out to the strikers. Uh, I'm not really a fan of time marking. Uh, let's take a long kick. There you go. Come on, boys. Ah, please. <clears throat> but we just take it as it is. We we can only do what we can do. So, you know, um, everyone is probably going to expect Man City to win this game, but hopefully we'll be able to um, bring an upset and make an upset. Um, but let's just see. Great tackle. And Lund's got the ball and we play the ball way over. There you go. Bone is with the ball. He needs help though. Uh, he gets tackled there. And there's no one there to support him. And we've got the ball. We don't need to do anything silly here. And we're playing this long ball over to the middle. And this is where we want the ball. We want to play that long ball over. And there you go. Miller! 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 Come on! Be it. Oh, no! Yeah. These guys, they're not taking their chances. That could have been it. 1-0. Ah, oh, seems that long ball may work. Um, but let's see how that goes. But, oh, that was our chance. That was seriously our chance to come and, um, and win that. But let's just see how that goes, the rest of it. Right, so 12 minutes have gone. We've had two shots uh, on the target. 
Um, but let's just see how each game goes. Um, oof, they've got the free kick. Ooh, and it's already a goal. That's poor goalkeeping. Uh, so 1 0 to Man City. Should be really, truly doing better. And, and um, the fact that the only chance has come from a set piece, it's not really good. But it's still early, 20 minutes have gone. And um, hopefully, we'll be able to come back into the game. <clears throat> Seem to be having a lot of shots, but obviously, all from uh, long range. And we've just. Oh, they've hit the post there. And this is where we've got the ball, and we can counter attack here now. Bone. Ah, it's done now. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Let's uh, demand more. See how they do it. Yep, they seem to be focused on that. Uh, we haven't really had much of a chance besides that one in the in the beginning of the match um, where Miller had a chance. But hopefully we'll be able to make something from here. And Miller's with the ball. Hajini's got the ball to, to Lamanza. There you go, Bone. There you go, Whitfield, and it's a goal. 1-1. One, one. We're back into the game now, and hopefully we'll be able to get some more goals. And that's a good work um, goal um, from Dulwich Hamlet. Um, nice passing in and play inside the box, and Whitfield takes the shot and scores. As you can see, a nice pass. Hygiene has the ball, passes it to Lemanza. Lemanza passes it, and Bone passes it, and Whitfield shoots and scores after the layoff. I think we deserve that, to be fair with you, but... It's still early, 1-1, uh, and I think we can win this game, hopefully, um, but let's just see how it goes. Uh, Miller doesn't seem to be having the best of games. We may need to bring in, maybe Spryders can come in. Um, at the moment, Gibson's not really having the best. <clears throat> let's just encourage the boys, and hopefully they'll be able to um, do it. It's all, it's all us, to be honest. It's actually all us. So what I'm going to do is just tell them, I believe in them and hopefully we'll be able to come out on top. Um, but anything can happen. But let's just give them the confidence to go out and believe that they can win this this game. And we've been the, I think we've been the better side, to be honest. There hasn't been much. Yes, they've hit the post. Um, but apart from that, it's all been us, to be honest. Um, but hopefully we're able to win. And Vulcans with the corner. And hopefully, there you go, Whitfield. Oh! Oh, what a goal! Reese Miller and would you believe it? It's an overhead kick to set up for a header. Wow, now that's a good goal. I was wondering what he was doing there. What a goal. As you can see, Vulcans crosses it in with four runs and does an overhead kick and Miller heads it into the goal. Um, I think that's probably one of the best goals I've seen in this um, in this game. Um, someone tell me if that if they've seen anything better than that, but that I've never seen anything as good as that. 50 minutes have gone um, and it's 2-1 to Dodge Hamlet. Um, hopefully we'll be able to um, to carry on the lead. Um, but it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. So Miller with the ball. There you go. We play the ball off and this is what we want. Bone and finish it. Go on, finish it. Oh my gosh. What was he hesitating for? That could have been it. That could have been 3-1. And we could have probably said, yep, that was it. Um, 60 minutes have gone so far. Uh, still 2-1. Um, we seem to be um, into the game, controlling the game. Um, but we need to be careful. And this is why I always say we need to take our chances. If we don't take our chances, um, we are going to we are gonna struggle if we don't take our chances. Um, Le Manza with the ball. And I'm hoping he's going to play the ball over the top. Um, and he gets tackled, and this is not what we want. We don't want people holding onto the ball because now they've got the ball and they want to counter attack now. Uh, and we've leaving them a lot of space there. Uh, that's it, and we get rid of the ball. That's a. Uh, this is scary. Now sixty-five minutes have gone. Foden with the ball, uh, uh, and Scorer has got the ball. We need to be very careful here. Um, Swift is with the ball. Um, we're not. We're, 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 
we're, pre we're getting them away from our box, but it just takes that one chance. Uh, it just takes that one chance and then it's over. And they score. Just out of nothing can they score a long shot and they don't deserve it. We've been the better team in this game. But this is why I say we have to take our chances. And we haven't taken our chances and all they do is take a, is just shoot from outside the box and it just goes in automatically. Ah, joke. Um, we definitely don't deserve that. We don't deserve that. Um, we deserve to be winning this game. They haven't done anything in the game. Um, but pff, what can you do? And it's 3-2. It's 3-2. I'm not sure. They don't deserve that. Don't deserve it at all. 70 minutes have gone 3-2 to Man City. Um, sorry, they don't, they don't deserve it. They really don't deserve it. I'm not sure what else to do. Um, we've tried our best to do to do what we need to do. We have we haven't taken our chances, and again, this is what I said: if we don't take our chances, this is what happens. And 85 minutes have gone, and it's looking like it's over. Vulcans with there you go. Oh my gosh, it's been disallowed. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking me. <laughs> oh, man. Stay on side. Yeah. It's game over. Four minutes have gone. Four minutes of added time. And we've lost the final. We've lost the final, guys. We've lost the final. It's game over. Yep, we've lost the final. They tried, but not good enough. We didn't deserve that. Because we didn't close down our players and that's it. The game is done. Unlucky, we don't really want to see them, to be honest with you. Uh, we had 22 shots, 8 on target. Um, but what can you do? Um, they tried their best. We didn't win. We deserve to win personally for me, as far as I'm concerned. If you look at um, the chances we had... Um, we had a goal disallowed, but what can you do? Um, we've now not won the trophy um, this season because we obviously can't get a trophy so far. This was our best chance of getting a trophy and we didn't get it. But again, guys, thank you for watching this Football Manager Maniac. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Okay, bye.